All right, y'all. So today we're going to be discussing um, mobility sticks and really just the ease of use, how I like to use them with myself and clients. Um, and then just a quick uh, sort of discussion on a pre-round warm-up as it applies to golf and disc golf. Uh, so rotation uh, and components for um, stretching out, you know, different parts of our body that make rotation a little bit easier. So yeah, um, stick mobility sticks. You could really be using anything, the PVC pipe. Um, you'd want to go with like two inch though, something that's that's uh, a bit more sturdy, that's not gonna have as much flex. We want something that has some give, um, but isn't gonna snap or break on you. Something that can withstand a little bit of body weight. So that's what stick mobility has done. It's not PVC, it's a bit more sturdy than that. And there's nice grippy handles at either end. Um, so anyhow, stick mobility sticks, really awesome tool for uh, creating some length in the body for some different stretches. So let's get into a few. Uh, some of my favorites here are gonna be uh, called a monkey hang. We just go into a half kneeling position. So we're exaggerating aspects of uh, hip mobility here and uh, glute activation and uh, we're giving ourselves something that we can hold on to for a bit of balance and stability, and then something we can lean on to really enhance stretching and opening up our side here. We'll add some rotation in a moment. So we open up our stance, we really draw forward to get a nice stretch, okay? This glute, right glute, I wanna be active, okay? I wanna bring the pelvis under a bit, especially as I draw forward, I'm enhancing the stretch. This muscle activation is enhancing the stretch and it's gonna also enhance some power when I stand up and start moving with more sport-specific patterning. All right, so you can rock in, rock out a handful of times, and then we're gonna put a little more emphasis now into this top arm. So I'm gonna really get that grip up nice and tall, okay? And I'm really gonna lean out forward, and you're gonna see this stick start to flex. I'm really pulling down a little bit as I lean out, get a nice open shape on that right side. Hey, let me face the camera and talk about some of these other aspects. So again, I'm setting myself nice and long to the front. I've got that grip up nice and tall. I'm starting to really drive my body forward. Check out this top arm. We can let that open and close. Open and close can be really nice for that shoulder joint where that lat comes up. And then we can also start some reach and rotation so I can reach back and then I can come forward and across a few times back, forward and across. Okay, you can use this free hand to control this knee and help stabilize a bit. Press against as you open, get a little extra on this one. Same, get a good block here, press against that knee. Use your adductors to squeeze in and rotate. And we'll just do the same thing on the other side. Yeah, once you get set, really open up your stance, drive that hip forward, get a nice long stretch, enhance by squeezing this glute, draw the pelvis under, draw under, drive forward. Like encouraging a few movements here, and then a bit of a hold at the end, just sort of open the body up. Again, you gotta kind of find your way through these drills, figure out what you need but a little combination of some dynamic movement, a bit of a static at the end with some breaths, gonna help you. Okay, then we can start really getting that grip up extra. This is opened a bit. We get some of those hand rotations. Open up that shoulder. And then we'll get some of those reach and rotations. Again, I would do a few without holding on to that knee just using the muscles to control the placement. You want your knee coming in toward the stick. You want the knee going away from the stick. And then feel free toward the end here. You can actually assist and block that knee with your hand. Just get a little extra open. Excellent. A couple movements here that help with sequencing and timing when taking that stick. We're gonna go behind our back now. We're just gonna place the stick right against our back. 
we're gonna go into a staggered stance. So I got my right foot a bit back. I'm on the toes here on that back foot and I got a flat foot on my lead leg. And then everything's gonna move together. So my head, um, my shoulders, my hands against the stick. They're gonna create some rotation and they're gonna open. Create some rotation and they're gonna open. You'll notice all the way down my right knee to my right foot, all moving together. What it's really allowing is some good internal external rotation on this left side. As a right-handed golfer, this is my lead leg. So I really need to be able to pull that pelvis around as I create my sequence in my downswing. So we're starting to really wake up that foot, wake up all the muscles that help with rotation. Same thing with stagger stance. Got my left leg back again. I'm up on the midfoot and toe. Lead leg is now flat, or lead leg foot is flat. And we go with some of that rotation. It's not a power move. It's more of an activation drill and a sequence drill. We're trying to enhance some mind muscle connection here and just wake up the muscles that are really responsible for internal external rotation and stability. Excellent. I'm not doing a lot of up and down, but you see just a little knee extension as I open. And as I rotate and close, I'm letting that knee soften a bit, but there's no emphasis on vertical movement. It's really rotation. We're not finding our end range and squeezing. We're really just being fluid with the pattern. Just so when we finally do come in, take an address posture, and we start thinking about just some movement with the pelvis, it starts to feel a bit more fluid. So now we take that stick mobility stick, it just acts like a long driver. We take what feels like an address posture, see the pelvis moving. We're not swaying or sliding, we're moving up and down. We're just moving that pelvis. So let me give you a side view. We've got rotation. Excellent. For a little bit of shoulder mobility, we just take that stick and go up and overhead and pass it through. Down to the front. Five to 10 reps. You know, the grip, uh, the width that you take will be based on your mobility. A little wider is gonna be easier to pass through. Okay. And then at the end, we're just gonna go ahead and get that stick. Just keep it up overhead here and keep those feet flat and then just go ahead and do a rotation. I like to do some of these, keep my eye gaze forward. Then I like to do a few where I let my head nice follow my hands. I'm just, again, looking for a nice fluid rotation, keeping the feet flat for this one. I'm just letting all the groupings of muscles down each joint segment, work together in sequence. Okay, excellent. For wrists, really good ones. We'll start, I'm gonna keep my elbow a little bit bent here. I'm just gonna turn that stick over. Nice, cause it's long, it's got some nice weight to it. So we can get a little of that momentum that we have to decelerate. Again, I'm not going for my max speed. I'm just letting that wrist open and close. And I am having a, an intention to stop at level. I'm not letting it torque me around. Same here, I want to stop at level. I don't want it to torque me over too far. So it's just back and forth 10 times. Again, this stick's going to be a bit heavier than your golf club. So relative to weight, it doesn't take much to get some good stimulation activation in the wrist. Well, granted, when we start swinging at top speeds, we got high velocities. That club does represent a bit more weight at that point, but still, this is quite heavy enough to get a pretty good impact on the wrist. So we've got 10 of those over and back. And then we'll go ahead and take one more. Again, these are really good things for some pre-round warmups. It's great for, you know, in between round workouts. Again, elbow's gonna be a bit flexed here. I don't have to be all the way out. And I'm just gonna let that stick drop, pull it up. Again, I got more now length over my hand than under. And you can manage the weight by having additional length. 
No. Intending to work super hard here just to get that range of motion out of the wrist. Again, get yourself five to 10 there. Make sure we take care of both sides. And we just got one more that will clear up on the wrist. Okay, and so we did the first with the length above. So now I'm gonna slide all that length now below my hand. I'm actually gonna let the stick rest on the ground. I'm gonna point the hand down and raise the stick. And at this point, you can be using a couple different grips. You can just close the hand around the stick, nice firm grip, and work these movements. Um, but you could also start setting up each hand more similar to how you take a grip on the golf club. So, um, you know, if you interlace, you know, fingers together. If you got that thumb and that pinky overlapped, I mean the index finger and pinky overlapped and uh, thumb underneath of the, the top hand, you know, however you set your grip up, you can start taking, again, some of those differences on your grips here. So thumb could be out. Make sure you take care of the other arm as well. Again, five to 10 reps. couple simple movements. There's so many more things you could explore here using a uh, stick mobility stick from your mobility or pre-round warm-up. That's a pretty good start. Again, what are some intentions with how we prep and warm up? We want to start doing like movements to our athletic pattern. We don't have to replicate the exact same technique, okay, as a golf swing. We just want to start waking up and using the muscle groups that make us or allow us to have a nice efficient swing. We don't need to strain or stress too hard. Nothing needs to be at maximum effort or tempo. We just wanna get that body moving a little bit. Okay, I hope these tips help you out. If you don't have a stick, stick mobility stick, you can grab a piece of PVC, but we definitely need something that's a bit longer than a golf club for some of these drills. So, all right, hope these drills help you. Let me know what you think. Leave me some comments below. See you soon.